As Snowflake continues to bring on larger enterprise customers and keeps doubling their revenue, they're trying to address the gap in developer expertise, presenting an opportunity to move into modern data stacks in the early stages. Today, we're gonna to be going over the Snowflake Snow Pro certification. I find this really interesting because I feel it relates a lot to how I've progressed as a data engineer. A lot of the skills I've developed using various tools I've developed through alternative learning, like courses and certification programs, and not through formal schooling. So I wanted to explore if this is a worthwhile opportunity to pursue. In this video, we're gonna go through a brief introduction to an overview of the certification and exam, what tools and courses are available to prepare, and then wrap it up with my recommendation on this certification. The Snow Pro Core Certification is what we'll be looking at. There are also advanced certifications for those who have been working with Snowflake for a couple years. The Core Certification is done with an exam of 100 questions, multiple selection, multiple choice, and true or false. It costs $175 US dollars and must be completed in 115 minutes. The questions will cover topics like accounts and security, which includes managing accounts, security principles such as MFA, encryption, and access control, granting and revoking privileges, and data governance practices. Virtual warehouses, including compute principles, usage and billing, concurrent compute resources, scale up versus scale out principles, types of compute, and then management and monitoring of resources. Data movement, commands such as copy, insert, put, get, and validate. Bulk copy and Snowpipe, the built-in ETL product. Best practices around files and folders, exporting data to local or other cloud storages, working with semi-structured data, including file formats, variant data types, and flattening nested objects. Performance management, best practices for clustering views and search optimization for stored data, how to do query performance management using profiles and historical data, and SQL optimization. The architecture, key components such as the optimizer, data protection, cloning, caching, and the web UI, data sharing capability with accounts, data exchange and data shares, how Elastic Storage and Compute compares to traditional data warehouses, Snowflake Cloud Partners, the importance of storage, compute, and service layers, and the catalog of objects, databases, schema, tables, views, data types, and functions. Next is storage and protection, concepts like partitioning, metadata, clustering, formats, monitoring, and cool features like time travel, fail-safes, encryption, and cloning. This sounds like a lot, and it is, but there are some options to tackle it. First, there's an instructor-led four-day course offered by Snowflake for the low, low price of $3,000, which is not too reasonable unless your company is paying for it. They also have an on-demand self-study course for $375, which is a bit more doable, but it's only five hours, which seems a bit low for what the exam expects. And they recommend it in conjunction with the $3,000 class, and it tells you to do your own hands-on experience and it doesn't list what the topics are covered, and because of that, I can't really ascertain how much value you're gonna get for $375, so it leaves me with a lot of doubts. Of course, we can use exam topics to build out our own self-learning plan, setting up our own Snowflake trial and going through the topics one by one, and that's certainly doable and very free, but it's also time intensive. So my preferred option for these things is courses on platforms such as Udemy. I found a couple good ones for Snowflake, the first one is for those more inclined towards self-learning and trial and error, but with just some help to guide the process. This course is Snowflake Decoded, and I'll have links down below, covers the bulk of the topics on the exam, though it runs through some of them a bit too quickly for my taste. But if you're the type who likes to do a more hands-on experimental, this is a good option for only $20. The second option is a more thorough master class covering all the topics in the certification exam and really spending time on them. It goes into connecting to AWS for those who don't have that experience and in-depth hands-on SQL and Python specific to Snowflake. And finally, it provides practice tests for certification, really a complete package. Now, would I recommend this certification? Maybe. I think there's definite value in learning Snowflake. It seems like it will be a top competitor for a while, and it's doing a lot of things right that will almost certainly be stolen by Amazon and Microsoft, so the knowledge will transfer to other modern data stacks as well. If you're just getting into a data career, it'll be good to learn, and if you're looking to escape legacy on-premises jobs, it's also good to learn. If you already work in Synapse, Redshift, or BigQuery, your mileage may vary. 
So learning and practicing Snowflake is worth it with the self-learning or Udemy courses. I doubt spending three grand of your own money is worth it for the Snowflake provided courses. As for the cert itself, my general thought is certs don't really matter most of the time. There's some companies that will demand them, but it's rare. On the other hand, Snowflake is a newer technology, so companies may be hiring new developers for a migration and they don't have the expertise to determine if someone knows what they're doing by talking to them. So in those cases, they might be reassured by certifications. The same goes for consulting, where certification can be more expected. Personally, I'd learn Snowflake, apply to jobs, and if I'm not finding what I want, then maybe pay the extra for the certification and see if that opens more doors. Now, if you've gotten through this and are asking, but wait a second, what is Snowflake? Well, it's impressive you made it this far, and thank you for holding your questions until the end of the presentation. Fortunately, I do have a video for you on the introduction to Snowflake.